All right, I'm here at the first ever V3 Bantamweight Champion, Brian Hall, fighting out of Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. How's it going? It's going good. I feel good. How's it feel to be the first ever V3 Bantamweight Champion? Uh, it feels great. I've been training hard. I've been training for multiple years. I mean, I think think, think I'm actually going to be a champ for a while. All right, now being champion, you obviously have a target on your back and everyone's gunning for you because you are because you are the champion. Does that motivate you in your training? And what have you been concentrating on the most since your last fight? Uh, of course it motivates me. It, it kind of gives me a, um, knowing a sense that I'm going to go five rounds. I'm going to go 15 minutes um, for sure every fight. It makes a difference in my training. I kind of up my cardio, my running, my workouts. I've added a strength program to my uh, workouts, flexibility, jiu-jitsu, stand-up, all those things. Uh, your last fight was against Cody Lane, and he's a stand-up fighter, likes to strike and stand up there and bang. But Jesse Parker is more of a ground fighter, jiu-jitsu guy. Does his jiu-jitsu worry you at all? Uh, it doesn't worry me at all. When I have people like Austin Lyons and Nathan Pong and Alex Meadows and Joe, I mean, there's it, no one out there better than those guys, so I'm not afraid of his jiu-jitsu. Uh, because both of you guys have such good ground games, do you think the stand-up can be the difference maker in this fight? And how do you think your stand-up compares to his? I definitely think it can be a difference in this fight. Um, his plan probably going to be to take me down, so I'm, I'm ready to keep it standing the whole five rounds, and I, it's going to be a war. Uh, you mentioned uh, earlier guys like Joel and Austin Lyons, who uh, you roll with just about every day. Do you feel you have an advantage uh, in this fight because you can prepare for his jiu-jitsu because you have guys to roll around with who are you know dominant in jiu-jitsu, whereas you're a you know big time wrestler. There's not too many people in the mid south who can simulate your style. So do you think you have an advantage in your training because of that? I definitely think it's an advantage because I don't think he have at his gym what we have at our gym. And with my wrestling background, he's gonna have to try a little bit harder than his last opponent trying to take him down. Uh, how do you think this fight's gonna end in what round? Um, I would say decision is gonna go five rounds, but I'm gonna make sure that I keep the pressure on him, and he's going to feel feel real good after the fight. Uh, anything you want to say to him? Uh, i like to say I saw your last fight, and hmm, that's all i got to say about that. <laughs> any final comments, any shout-outs, anything like that? i like to uh, thank my school, Memphis, BJJ, um, Vic Apparel, Tyler Soro, um, Fat Fight Swag, Josh Davis, my wife, God, foremost and I like to thank the, the one that um, said I didn't want to fight him because of my coaches I like to thank him for giving me more motivation to go after him and beat him as a pro unless he won't fight me as an amateur. Uh, thank you very much and good luck in your fight. Thank you.